Hey, how is everybody doing this morning? This is Avery Hicks. I appreciate you joining us. Um, well, here we are. You know, we're the first week of January 2020. Hopefully, you're out there striving and hit your goals and uh, the things that you told yourself that you wanted to do for the 2020. So uh, let's get you ready on. Let's have a great day today. Let's be mindful. Let's have a positive mindset. And let's go out there and strive to achieve everything that we want to achieve. And so today, I want to speak to you about... Um, a program that we are offering at our company and it has a lot to do with uh, uh, my background in the automotive industry you know obviously I started off in sales um, worked my way up through management and um, all the way up you know you're always working on yourself trying to be the best salesperson be the best manager and so you're always working on your skills and one of the things that I learned early is that for most of us we have a situation to where if we're selling that we're running into some difficulties identifying the customers that we're running into. One of the most important things when you're out there selling is to be able to have a relationship and to be able to communicate with your, uh, your client that's in front of you. And so when I take a look at it from when I was selling to where I'm at today and I look at the, the scenario that's happening out there with the internet, with all the, uh, uh, the auto industry, with all the car dealers, the one thing that I've identified that has changed the most has been the people that we're talking to. Because when I take a look at it here, and I take a look at the board here when we, I have these uh, processes down, most salespeople have a process that they have to do, whether it be at a dealership, insurance, it doesn't matter. There's going to be a sales process that you follow. And this was a sales process that I followed back in the day where we had a meet and greet. We did a CNA, which is customer needs analysis. We did demo rides, test rides, uh, service walk, trial closes, write up the offer, uh, close the deal, uh, deliver it to the business office. Um, then deliver the vehicle, then obviously follow up on people, and then have customer satisfaction index filling out surveys. So that's still relevant today. But the difference I see today than when it was when I was selling is that there's one more component that we need to add. Because if I was able to show you a skill as a salesperson, one that would allow you to increase your ratio, your closing ratio, to allow you to be able to communicate better with your coworkers and your managers. Uh, three, be able to enhance your career and your life, your personal relationships. You'd probably be interested in that because the most important thing to a salesperson, obviously, is getting better at the skills. But the one skill that I think that we're missing that's not on here is what's called people skills. Understanding people that's coming out to purchase a vehicle or purchase anything at this particular time. See, one of the skills that we need to address is, who am I speaking to? How do I adapt to this individual that's in front of me? Why am I not closing, or why am I only closing 25% of the people instead of 50% or 75% or even 100%? Well, it has to do with a lot of the, about the people that's coming in and that you're speaking with. And so today, what I wanna do is kind of talk to you a little bit about what's called a DISC assessment. And the DISC assessment allows you to be able to figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are. But more importantly, it allows you to be able to adapt to the other people that you're speaking with. Because when you look at what's called the DISC assessment, and basically what it is, D stands for dominance, I stands for influence, S stands for steadiness, and C stands for compliance. Most generally, all of us are gonna fall into one of these categories. We're going to be able to identify the customer that we feel most comfortable with. And that particular customer is a customer that for some reason we always seem to sell. We have a great time. It doesn't seem like we're rushing. doesn't seem like we're pressuring anything. It just goes naturally. And that's the deal. That's the kind of how we want to sell. But three of these other individuals that we're meeting, we seem to run into some issues. We've seen, it doesn't seem to go the way we thought it would go. Either they felt rushed or they felt that we weren't talking to them correctly. And so the most important thing is to identify what your strengths and weaknesses is and then which one of these categories you match up to. Now for myself, I'll, I'll just be honest, I'm, I'm an S, I'm an high S, I, I'm, I'm steadiness. I, I have a pace to myself. I, I don't like to get rushed, you know, I'm kind of like a, a social butterfly. You know, I'm going to always want to communicate and have a conversation with you. 
And so when I'm sitting there and I'm talking to possibly an individual that's a D who's dominant and who's very direct and he wants me to go get this and do that and do this and not have a communication style, I seem to butt heads with that individual. I, I didn't feel comfortable with him and he didn't feel comfortable with me. And nine times out of 10, I probably didn't sell that individual. But I learned something because once I was able to identify Mr. D or Mr. I or Mr. C, once I was able to identify them, then I was able to adapt my communication style to help me identify who I was speaking to. And once I was able to identify who I had in front of me, I was able to adapt my sales pitch. I was able to take the language that I used and make sure it was the language that they wanted to hear. And all of a sudden I went from selling 25% up to getting closer to 70%. And that's where you want to be if you're trying to be great. See, because we're going to sell 25%. We're going to sell to the people that we master up to. But it's the other 75% that your manager is wanting you to get and you're struggling with getting it. Because here's four things that happens when you're able to adapt your communication and your sales pitch to master the people that are coming through the doorway. The first thing it's going to do, it's going to help you identify the customers. From the time that you go out there to meet them and you shake their hands, within two, five minutes, you're going to know exactly who you have in front of you. And once you identify who you have in front of you, then you can put a game plan together on how you're going to still win the game. Because the, the, the situation is, they drove in in a car, somebody sold them something before you, and so you might as well get the skill to adapt to them. And so the second way is to help you connect with your coworkers and management. Once you identify who you're speaking with, with your coworkers and your management, then you guys learn to communicate differently. They understand you, you understand them. I know at times when I was selling, I was running and bumping and uh, uh, having disagreements with my managers and everything, because we're on two different wavelengths. And once we decided to figure out with whoever, what these other strengths were and weaknesses were, we were able to communicate better because somewhere along this trial here, you're gonna need your manager to come in on your deal. If they're coming in on your deal, they wanna know who, the, who you got. And when they ask you that question, you can't say, I don't know. You need to be able to tell them, this is the customer that I got in front of me, and this is how you probably need to speak to them. Help him sell your car for you. Because if not, they'll probably just give your money away and then still get your car deal, but you won't have any money. The third way is to help you communicate in your personal life. You know, how would it be to be able to adapt your communication style to the person, that special person at your house? The one you seem to be bumping heads with for some reason, or that child that you're trying to raise and they're going through that period of time in their life where everything's wrong or everybody's against them. Yes, it's frustrating. I was there, been there. Probably didn't do a real good job at that time, but I learned to adapt my communication style to match up to what they were going through at that time. And so not only does it work in your business life, it definitely works out in your, in your personal life. And then last, it improves your closing relation, your, your closing percentage. The one thing that a salesperson wants to do is to sell more cars, not actually take more customers. They want to sell more cars. So if you can sell 10 customers out of 10 customers, you're happy, more happier than going and chasing 20 customers and only selling 10 because there's a lot of work to go with that follow-up. And so as you can see, the advantages of understanding people, don't get me wrong, all these Processes here are definitely needed, but the one process that's needed more today with the customers having all the internet information, knowing exactly what they want, when they come in, there's two things they're looking for. They're looking for a salesperson that's going to communicate with them on their level, and then they're looking to see if you actually have the vehicle that you told them that you have. And so what you want to be able to do is understand that your skill level makes you more valuable to you makes you more valuable to your customer, and it's gonna make you more valuable to your organization because they're gonna see you rise up to the top. Because it's 2020 and everybody's trying to be great. You gotta get you ready on right now. And so for this training, what I need you to do 
is to go to adrianhicks.com or you can text me at 405-295-4022 and when you get to adrianhicks.com, if you go to training and under training, it says personality assessment, go in there and book a time so that I can get back with you or one of my staff can get back with you and talk about the assessment test. Because the most important thing of knowing DISC is to know which one you are. So we can give you an assessment test so that we can figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are so that we can magnify your strength and work on your weaknesses so that you now know who you're speaking to when you go out there. So once again, go to AveryHicks.com, go to training, schedule a time, one of the staff will call you back, talk to you about the assessment test, tell you what the next steps are so that we can move the needle and enjoy 2020. If you want to text me, once again, it's 405-295-4022. The most important thing, gang, is that I want everybody to know it's 2020 and it's time to get you ready on. Let's go.